My name is Jeremy with MedEd Prep, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do an APGAR score. We're going to go over some real world situations and applications, as well as a test question right there at the very end so you can practice what you just learned. So, one of the very first things that you need to know about APGAR is it was invented by a woman named Dr. Virginia APGAR, uh, who was an obstetric anesthesiologist. And she came up with a score as a way to evaluate the response of the newborn to transitioning to being in the outside world. And so you'll also see it described as a way to uh, evaluate the neonatal's response to resuscitation. And resuscitation is just a fancy word of saying, are they transitioning well into being a outside human? The big things that you need to know about it is you need to know that it's broken up into five categories and it's got two points, one point, or zero points for each of those categories. The maximum score that you can get is 10 points. The lowest score that you can get is zero. Uh, 10 is a very, very alive baby, the most alive baby that you can possibly imagine, and zero is going to be a very dead baby. Uh, you are going to do it at least twice, and that's going to be one minute after birth and five minutes after birth. If and only if your five minute APGAR is less than seven, then that is going to be the point that you are going to do it at 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes. And you're going to do this to continue to resuscitate, whether it be oxygen, drying, warming, stimulating, or whatever, uh, to see if you can get their 10 minute, 15 minute, and 20 minute up to above seven. Now, the way that you're going to score these is going to be appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respirations. Appearance, two points worth for that, is going to be you're going to have a very pink core with pink extremities. They're going to be entirely pink throughout and have a normal color for that skin tone uh, throughout their body. Pulse is going to be any heart rate that is above 100. If it's 102, they still get two points. If it's 98, they're not gonna get two points. They're gonna get one. Grimace. Grimace is something that you might see described a couple of different ways. The most way that's made sense to me is just by looking at the newborn's face and looking at how agitated can you actually make that newborn. So if you poke them and you're prodding them and you're moving them around and you're, let's say you're gonna do check a glucose and you're using the heel stick, if they get really, really, really angry at you, then that's going to be two points. And so they are just kind of, uh, they are just angry. Now, um, and with that is likely gonna come a strong cry. And so that is why sometimes grimace and respirations, they actually might get uh, described in a, in a test question in the same sentence or the same context. So if they say something about a strong cry when stimulated, a lot of times that's gonna give you two points for this and then two points for respirations as well. So you're gonna have a strong cry for respirations. Now, activity. Activity is going to be how well are they resisting your movement. So if you go to grab their arm and you try to extend it out or you try to flex it if they're, if they're extended, or same thing for their legs, if they provide strong resistance to your movements, then that's gonna be two points here. So they're going to be strong. But now keep in mind, you're an adult, they're not. So just kind of use the context clues to tell you is, that, is this an actual strong movement or not. Now for respirations on top of an angry, strong cry, something that you might also see is fast respiration. So usually you're gonna be kind of cruising right there about like a breath a second, so 60 breaths a minute. And that's totally normal because their tidal volume is so low that they have to have a really high respiratory rate to be able to compensate. And so that's why fast respirations is very, very normal in newborns and infants. Now, um, for one point for uh, appearance, that is going to be, you're going to have a pink core and then you will have uh, blue extremities, okay? and Something that's really important to keep in mind about appearance is it doesn't matter your skin complexion. If you have dark skin, then that's okay. You might not be able to adequately score this if you're not familiar with what the colors might present like on somebody with that skin type. But the thing is, is it doesn't 
really matter. Appearance is not going to be the thing that's going to bring somebody below seven on the APGAR or to tell you that a, a kid is sick. What's really going to tell you those things is the pulse, the respirations, how pissed off are they, and can you actually resist their movement. If they're okay and all this other stuff and you're like, I really can't tell for their appearance, secondary to the skin complexion, it's no big deal. Don't even worry about it. Just treat them like normal. Now for pulse, this one here is going to be less than 100. Um, grimace is going to be, a, if they are weakly agitated and they're just like, eh, I'm kind of mildly inconvenienced by you, then that's going to be worth one point. Uh, activity is going to be uh, weak resistance. So if you go to grab their arm, extend it out, and it doesn't really do a whole lot, but they're kind of sort of pushing or kind of sort of resistant, that's going to be one point. Respiration is going to be slow if for one point. Or uh, a weak cry. So weak cry, slow respirations, either one, but they still, they're still breathing. Ones, the baby's still presenting with some signs of life. Uh, zero. Zero for your appearance is going to be blue all the way throughout. And so they're going to have a blue core and blue extremities. That's not normal. Uh, and so they're going to be profoundly cyanotic and they're going to look rather flaccid, which goes into these other, other categories. Your pulse, if they don't have a pulse, zero points. Grimace, if they do not get agitated, they do not get pissed off at you at all, that's going to be zero points. Their activity, if they offer no resistance to whenever it is that you go to move them, that's going to be a zero as well. And then respirations, if they are not breathing at all, then that's going to be worth zero points. Anything above something that is essentially in cardiac arrest and they, they look like it too is going to be worth at least one point. But these are just the five categories that you're going to have. Now, um, something to keep in mind is that for one point on appearance, okay, so for the pink core, the blue extremities, this is also going to be a term called acrocyanosis. That can be entirely normal. Um, and that is something that you can expect reasonably up to about one month after delivery. So you're gonna have a one month old or somebody who's 27 days and they're gonna still present with a pink core and blue extremities whenever you look at them. Totally normal. So to refresh, the big things you need to know, acrocyanosis, one point, pink core, blue extremities. Your maximum score that you're gonna get is going to be 10 for an APGAR, zero for um, your minimum. And that's gonna be because out of those five categories, we got two, one, and zero. You're going to perform your APGAR at one minute after birth, five minutes after birth, and if your five minute APGAR is less than seven, then you're gonna do it every five minutes for 10, 15, and 20. If you're doing an APGAR, and somebody has a very low pulse or something like that, and you're trying to get through resuscitation, auction's gonna be your biggest bet, and it's going to profoundly help them. But don't be afraid, um, because they, these newborns, they're going to have a low O2 until 10 minutes. And so once they hit 10 minutes after birth, that's about the time that you should start expecting it to be normal again. Um, but uh, this is the APGAR. And uh, what you're gonna have now is there's gonna be a question right here. So we'll just go ahead and pause the video and you can look at it and just leave a comment down below for what you think the answer is. Again, my name is Jeremy and if you like this video, please consider liking it, subscribing to the channel or even leaving a comment down below. You can also always join our Discord community for more interactive learning experience. Something we are doing is we are giving the first 300 people to sign up on the paid portion of our website 50% off of their first subscription and you'll be able to see details for that down below. If you are a school or an instructor who's wanting to partner up with MedEd Prep, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at jeremy at and you will see that link down below as well. I'll see you in the next video.